Hi guys, welcome to Honestly Morgan. So as some of you may know or may not know, I recently went and did my yoga teaching certification with Power Yoga Canada. So by this time actually that you're seeing this video, I will be done all my post work and totally certified. So to celebrate, I'm going to share with you the five yoga poses I would never skip in my practice. And now these, some of them are just favorites where I feel so, so amazing doing them. And some of them, I still feel amazing doing them, but they're poses that I'm working on. So I'm gonna share some of those with you now. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on with the video. So the first pose is ragdoll. So ragdoll is where you're folded forward and you grab your elbows with uh, your opposite hand and you just lie there. And if you activate your legs, you can really sway and have a lot of fun with it. So I love that one, especially in the mornings when I wake up, my hamstrings and my lower back are normally super, super tight. So even if I have no time to do a yoga practice in the morning, just doing that when I get out of bed is super, super nice. The second yoga pose that is a favorite of mine is Warrior Two. I just feel so strong in Warrior Two. I used to absolutely hate it because of the burning in my thighs, but now I just like relish the thought of like going deep into a Warrior Two lunge with my knee right above my ankle and like that's when you get really nice stability because you have bone stacking going on and then adding in a little reversed warrior so that you're stretching your intercostals which are the muscles in between your ribs is just oh so amazing i can't even begin to describe you'll just have to play around with it yourself my third favorite pose would have to be wheel Wheel is when you go up into a like a gymnastics bridge essentially, so like totally arched. I used to think I would never get up into wheel because I thought you needed a lot of arm strength. Turns out it all comes from the leg. So by learning to push into the heels and really root into the ground to push my back up off the ground, it's just a life changer. So <laughs> it's so much fun. My fourth favorite pose is pigeon. It's so funny because most of these poses when I first started yoga absolutely were the worst. Like I couldn't even sit cross-legged, let alone do pigeon. Pigeon's an amazing hip opener. I sit at a desk all day, so I find that it's just beautiful for me to <laughs> come home and be able to like open up my hips and just like lie down on the floor and relax like that. If you find you can't get your hip all the way to the ground, you can always use a block or like some books if you don't have a block or a big blanket just to give yourself a little bit more cushion and something to lean into. My fifth and final post that I'm absolutely loving right now is handstand. It seems as if I haven't been able to get into handstand quite yet. But with the help of friends, I am pretty stable. I've taken a huge step from where I was before I started doing my yoga teacher training to now, before I wouldn't even, oh my gosh, like going upside down was the most terrifying thing to me. Getting myself upside down was a real challenge just mentally. But once I get there, I find that I'm pretty stable. And right now I'm just working on my core engagement and my shoulder engagement while I'm there so that I stay in good alignment, it's been really fun, and I'm sure that I will get it solo very soon. So that's it for my five yoga poses that I would never skip. If you like this type of video and you wanna hear more yoga stuff or you just have other ideas for videos, please let me know. I love hearing your comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Nope.